Hey, g'day. I've just come back from, uh, yep, probably the best rock hunt I've ever been on so far, and I thought I just can't wait to show you some of the rocks I've got. Thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel. I make videos on all things rock related from finding, cutting and polishing, even a few helpful hints. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. It doesn't cost anything, it's free to subscribe and it will help me build my channel. Thanks. Uh, the first place I went to was near Kalgoorlie. Um, just on my own at the start, found a lot of this sort of stuff. I'll quickly run through just a few examples of what I got. This is from the same location, near Kalgoorlie. Same with this. So from there, I met up with three other people uh, out past Norseman because we wanted to go looking for malachite. And I'm wetting these because they just look a lot better. We found some good malachite. Um, no big chunks, but just nice pieces. The malachite is the green. This had azurite in it as well, the blue. And there's druzy pockets in there too. Um, I'll show you in a minute what I mean by druzy pockets. So this, again, malachite, azurite. Very happy with uh, what we've got there. I'll wet this big one. Uh, and you'll see in the video how much fun we had as well getting these pieces. So here, that's a druzy pocket. So druzy means crystals, uh, this bit here, and then a pocket. So it's a pocket of crystals, druzy pocket. From there we went to a place near Killaloe Hill and picked up what I'm calling uh, Killaloe Jasper. It's become known as Killaloe Jasper, but it's more an opalite. It comes in a fantastic range of colors. Um, last time I was there, I got a lot of blacks, blacks with white and yellow stripes through them. But when I got back, I thought, hang on, I should have got more reds and yellows and stuff. So this is what I got this time. Beautiful stuff. From there, we went to the public fosking site. So there's a site in Norseman where you can just uh, go, you don't need a miner's right. We all had miner's rights, so we we're okay anyway. And if you look hard enough, it can be a bit tricky, you can find some really nice rocks. Um, so that's one from the fosking site. Yeah, so the fosking site, you don't need a miner's right. You can just go there and have a look around and grab whatever you want. From there, we went to a site near the railway line in Norseman, looking for red opalite. And I've got a few pieces like this. Here's another piece. Actually has some little, tiny little druzy pockets in that one too. Then we moved back to the railway site, the railway line. Close to the railway line, it's not on the railway line, it's probably 50, 60 metres off the line get some dendritic opalite. This is a dendritic opalite, but with almost merlinite. So merlinite is the dendritic opalite, or the opalite where it becomes translucent. So that bit there is translucent. And boy, that comes up really well when it's cut and polished. Now then, we were all ready to leave. This was on the second day. And we got a call from Craig, a fellow rock hunter. And he told us about a site where he'd found lepidolite. Uh, uh, so off we went to get some lapidolite down. Wow, were we surprised with what we got there. This is a piece of lapidolite. And this is some more pinkish lapidolite. So yes, like I said, very happy with this rock hunt. Uh, fantastic, there's four of us, uh, joined by two part way through, which that was um, Craig. Did I say Peter before? It's Craig and George. And they took off, found the lapidolite, phoned us and told us where to go. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Some beautiful coloured rocks in this one. My first stop was east of Kalgoorlie. Just on my own before I met up with the rest of the group. These are tailings uh, from a nearby mine where I think they mine copper, maybe. Uh, Nickel, possibly. That's a bit boring, that one. But there's some really nice emerald greens and aqua green rocks here. I'm not picking up any particularly nice ones here, but you'll see how good they are. It's 
mostly opalite. Someone said you could find chrysoprase here, but I didn't. I thought I did. Uh, some of them look like chrysoprase, but once you cut them and start working them, they're much more brittle. But yeah, it's everywhere. Good start to the rock art. And this is some of what I came back with. This is what I mean, it kind of looks like chrysoprase, but it's definitely an opalite, a common opal. I ended up with oh, a whole bucket full of beautiful aqua green and emerald green rocks. From there I drove down to Norseman, met up with the rest of the crew and off we went looking for Malachite. So this is late in the day, we met at 5 o'clock, 5 p.m. and then drove off and went and camped out in the bush. I say bush, it's actually a big salt flat. So it's a salt lake that's dried up. Here we are, getting to the location. Yeah, there was four of us met up. We've been here a few weeks earlier, well some of us have been here a few weeks earlier and found some really nice malachite. This is Helen. Helen was a girl guide, she's great at starting fires. <laughs> Thought I'd get an overhead shot of where we were camping. This is it. Just as the sun was setting. Time to sit around the fire and talk tall stories again. Dreaming of what we're going to find the next morning. And here it is, first thing next morning. Uh, I think it was about 5.30, I couldn't sleep, I was a bit excited. <laughs> uh, we all were, to find some malachite. This is Glenn working away at a boulder that had a malachite vein running through it. Uh, he was on it for a good hour, I reckon. It was pretty stubborn, but got it in the end. Well, Glenn rested up, it was my turn to hit it with a sledgehammer. <laughs> Did the pose first. <laughs> and whack. It was pretty tough rock too. But I won. We managed to break off some nice pieces as you'll see in the, the photos. Here's Glenn and Lindsay watching on. Well deserved drink. And this is what we found. Malachite, the green stuff with azure the blue. And the druzy pockets, isn't that magnificent? Veins of malachite, just some really nice rocks. Very happy with what we got here. From there it was a half hour drive to near Killalo Hill in Norseman to find what's become known as Killalo Jasper, although it is an opalite. This is me picking up pieces. When I was there last I got lots of black pieces with white and yellow banding. So I thought this time I'll grab some red. So I loaded up with lots of red. This is Lindsay. Picking up rocks. Happy enough with that? Yeah. I think so. And Glen. That looks good. In the bucket it goes. And these are some of the rocks that came home with me. So yes, this um, has become known as Killalo Jasper. But like I say, it's, it's more of an opal, like a common opal. Look at the colours in that. It's more of a common opal. Um, it can be a little tricky depending on the colours to get a good gloss on, but if you keep at it, you can. From Kilo Hill we headed out to the public fusking area at Norseman, out across the, the dry salt lake. Found a little friend, always find lizards for some reason. 
This one was really quick. I tried to paste that in. He wouldn't let me. Uh, and this is what we found. Lots of beautiful green, again, opalite. The whole area seems to be opalite, common opal. Some with dendrites, some with just beautiful bands. All of it beautiful. So from the public fossicking area, we head back into Norseman. Beautiful dinner at the local pub. And then go find a place to stay for the night. And this is us first thing next morning, heading towards an old rubbish tip that we discovered. Um, Helen, that's Helen there, found a lot of beautiful old bottles. I actually managed to find some rocks. I think someone had collected them and then ditched them. And I thought, well, they're nice, I'll take those. And here's what I got from the rubbish tip. <laughs> That was just a, a short trip, dusty trip, but short, to get some dendritic opalite, mainly reds and pinks. Um, green, yellow, white bases everywhere. But trying to find some of the reds can be a bit tricky, but we managed to find some nice ones. Oh, and those yellows too, the yellows with the blacks, they look great. It's more of a Merlinite, the yellow and black ones. There's lots of red here. Very happy to find it. And like the other opalite site, it really is everywhere. And these are some of the pieces that I brought home. Red opalite and bluish opalite. But it was mainly the red. Oh, that's some of the Merlinite. But it was mainly the reds I was after with stuff here. And as we were collecting the opalite, we were getting ready to head off. We got a phone call from a fellow rock hunter. He said he'd found a deposit of lapidolite. This is the lapidolite. Very, very happy. It was a surprise. We didn't expect to find any. So to find some on the last day of the rock hunt was fantastic. Pinks and purples, beautiful colors. Big chunks too, that one's going in the rock garden. So that was the end of our rock hunt. There's Lindsay, myself, Glenn and Helen. Have to do it again someday, it was fantastic fun. And off I headed for home. It's a seven hour drive back home. Um, got home just after sunset. It's a real adjustment <laughs> driving back into traffic again. And this is what I came home with. So these are from the first site near Kalgoorlie. Lots of beautiful greens going from the aqua green to emerald green and then into these sort of yellow green colors as well. These are from the Malachite site. Again, very happy with what we've got there. It was a fantastic rock cut. Like I said, the best rock cut I've had so far. This is Kilolo Jasper in reds. And then some of the darker yellow black colors over here. And then this was from the public fossicking site in Nordsman. Big chunk there is going to be nice. I can't wait to slice him up. 
This is the stuff I found at the rubbish tip. <laughs> I'm sure you'd agree that's worth picking up. Uh, Dendritic Opalite uh, from the pink site, or the red, the red site, and then lastly, the Lepidolite. Lots of different colours. So that's it. By far the best rock hunt I've ever been on. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Till next time, see ya.